Who are you when nobody is watching? In this fast-living world, where a change is happening in the blink of an eye, and we are continuously bombarded with overstimulation, it is quite easy to lose one's own way into the realms of the unknown. I mean, it's exciting to rebrand yourself, perhaps to even take on a whole new identity. And while I'm all about self-growth and becoming your ideal self, especially without defining yourself, what happens when the realms of continuous pursuit of something you are not and your true self collapse? At what point are we merely acting out a role? A role that wasn't even actively chosen by us, but taken on to be to the liking of others. What do you love to do when nobody is watching? Some people say that life was way simpler when they were younger because there were fewer responsibilities, therefore fewer roles to play into. And perhaps there was still the courage, the courage to be unapologetically yourself and to speak up about your wants. When you did not like something, you said no more often. When you wanted to eat ice cream, you damn well made sure that everybody knew about it. Some might argue that in some way we just became more pleasant members of society without being solely driven by our own desires or not. Isn't wanting to be accepted by others the highest form of egoistical behavior there actually is? Because you are not doing specific things to actually help somebody or because you want to, but to make the other person not upset or make them like you. So I guess people pleasing is actually a scam. Not only for the person doing it, but also for the one receiving it. What is your dream? Meanwhile, you are harming the greatest relationship you'll ever have the one with yourself. You are trying so desperately to conform to others, to live within the means of their narratives, their imposed fantasies. And while you are running and chasing a dream, a dream that isn't even yours, who is going to chase after your dream when it isn't you? In The Courage to be Disliked, the author talks about how it is better to be disliked by others than it is to dislike yourself. And while this phrase seems so obvious, do we truly internalize it? Because in the end, do we not all dream about living our lives in true authenticity? Authenticity means to me living your life in your truth. Doing things you want to do because you love them, not doing things because you are supposed to do them. Having the freedom to be yourself and be accepted for it. So what if the only acceptance we needed was the one from ourselves? I think Jordan B. Peterson phrased this really beautifully with his principle, tell the truth or at least don't lie. Because I guess some people truly start believing the lies imposed by others or even imposed by themselves. And who am I to blame? Because most of the programming isn't even done by our parents or friends, but they have been victim of it themselves. They tell themselves I have to do this and that, and then I can finally be happy. I can finally live my dream. And basically postpone their whole life and identity. They put themselves willingly into roles and keep on pretending to be somebody they are not to impress people that they don't even love. And maybe this is a societal problem and I am going far too deep, but maybe the solution to all evil and the key to true happiness is by telling the truth. The truth about ourselves, beliefs and dreams. So what is your truth? Who are you when nobody is watching?